Okay, so this is the first time that I'm trying this Calamine lotion, okay? Um, it's a skin protectant. It says poison ivy, poison oak, and stomach drying lotion. I had actually, ooh, oh no. Just got it everywhere. I get some wipes. I had actually originally got this Calamine lotion because while well, I was in Texas, if you guys seen this most res this most recent upload vlog, uh, I got really bit up. The mosquitoes were eating me up out there, so I got this for that. And then I had seen a bunch of people using it as a primer, so that is how we will be trying it today, is as a primer. Um, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know. I want to get it on my shirt. I've never put this on before. So, I'm going to reach for a flat foundation brush. Going with this flat one. You already shook that up and it dripped, so why would you do it again? I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to pour some right onto my brush. Immediately plop on my skin. Okay. I'm just gonna blend it in. I don't want it to be too too thick. Blended. It's very cooling. Feels very cold. I've seen a lot of people use this for dark marks as well. Not only on, not only for like a primer, but for dark marks and for acne. So let's hope it just. This is great, as everyone was saying. Funny because I started seeing people use this like years, years, years ago, and then it just all of a sudden kind of resurfaced. The girls on TikTok. Uh, should I get up under my eye? Why not? Why not? It blends out very nicely. It feels very... feels very soft. Wow. So that's on half of my face. Don't like this application process at all, so I'm gonna try to just drip it on my face. Oh! really playing with myself because it's like why would you even risk almost getting it on your shirt to be a little more relaxed I feel like I'm close enough do you guys think I'm close enough Let's see if that works on this one it's even better yeah I like this already I feel like I may have used to abuse this may have used to it. Lord, I can't wait for Mercury to come up out of retrograde because I'm talking wild. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. It's already like, I wish there was a little bit more warmth put back into my face. Then again, this is what it's supposed to do. Give you that blank canvas. I like how effortless, effortlessly it's blending out even when it feels quite dry. I feel like it's just really moving, but not too much. Okay, so put should I put some on my forehead. I don't really do too much makeup on my forehead, so I'm just gonna take another couple of drops. Uh, I'll just kind of clean the rim. Since this is a makeup brush, anyways. I'm just gonna come down here more. Definitely get your nose, because my nose be getting hella oily. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. I got a feeling it's gonna be really nice. Okay. Shit, I've gotta go back and make this TikTok and Instagram. TikTok and <laughs> TikTok and the real. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I think I'm actually starting to get a hang of... I'm excited about my next TikTok and my next reel. I've chosen trending songs. I am filming the content in the actual app instead of on my... And I'm using, like, their features, which they encourage. I'm excited. I feel like my makeup's gonna come out really, really good. I didn't want to come on my forehead, but... I didn't want to put this on my forehead. <laughs> but, uh... definitely giving ghost but at the same time it's giving very soft and very matte it's like very very matte which I like but it's not drying I mean it's drying but it's not like yeah I should probably put this in check Okay, yeah, I'm looking scary as fuck, but let's get into it anyways. I'm excited now. Alright, I'm gonna call that a blend. Primer is on. Well, it's a little thick right there. Then it is on that side, so we're gonna put some right there. Primer is on. I'm gonna just go straight into these brows, baby. I'm gonna begin by concealing the brows. Okay, so I'm going in with my NYX Wonder Stick. I don't have to tip to either one of these, but I'm gonna go in with a lighter color. And this is in the shade Deep Profound, number three. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade of this stick. I'm gonna pack my brush. Just, this is actually a painter's brush that I had gotten from Michaels. I think that when it comes to some makeup looks that brushes that are used for painting pictures just work better because they're sharper and they're more dense and they're way more affordable. So I'm gonna begin to cut my brows. see how easy that that was so yeah I'm going to pack this other same brush up pack it up pack it up and go back in and do the same thing on the other side I just want you guys to be able to see me so if I was to say comfortably I would be right there so let me Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and blend. Oh shit, TikTok, Instagram.
Okay, so Casper is going away, and I'm left with perfect skin. And milk and magnesia is supposed to be good for my skin. I just gotta make sure that I get rid of the away. Because I can definitely still see it. Like right here, needs some foundation. It's more right there, more right there. And around. Come on. See how that does. Bring this down into the forehead. Patting. This seems milk and magnesia. Okay, so this is a normal exposure. This is where we're at. This brow is filled in. This brow is not. This milk of magnesia is looking fucking ridiculous on my face, but I'm excited. I feel like it kind of concealed a lot of this over here as well. Oh yeah, brows is by Anastasia and Ebony, of course, the dip brow been using that since, I don't know, high school. Um, so yeah, let's get into this brow. are looking great. Alright, so brows are done. Did I get myself doing my brows? Then not. So immediately after the brows are done, I'm gonna go in with this other end of the Wonder Stick by NYX once again in Deep Profound number three. I'm gonna go in the darker end. This is where I begin to contour my nose. It's not too bad. It's not even. Doable. Do this. This. Definitely not even, but we'll blend it out. Okay, honey. Like that. We're gonna bring this up into my socket socket once again not even but oh well now um like should i contour before i do foundation it don't seem right so i'm not going to i'm going to put a this is my foundation and this is black opal in the color Rich Caramel. And I'm just going to one, two, and myself blending out my nose on TikTok and on my Instagram reel. My little nose blender joint. Let's just see how it's looking. I think I'm gonna blend it out my ears.
Yeah, I'll use this to blend my nose. Mm. Let me blend my foundation first before I put that on my nose. really giving skin. Back to the lower exposure. And I like it. Okay, so now we've still got the lighter areas. I'm gonna go in back with this wonder stick, go in with this lighter concealer. Uh, lighter, what is it? It's just highlight and contour, it's not concealer. So this is where I actually carve out my nose. Get real up and close to that dark line that we made right there. And with the eyes, I'm just gonna come out just a little bit. I didn't mean to get it on my inner tear duct right there. So I'll do it again on this side. Uh, I think I'm going to actually go over to TikTok, get this on the TikTok, and then I'll get it on the Instagram and then I'll come back. Or, yeah, because after that I just have to do lips. So I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, so this is actually a lot of fun. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm highlighting now, and I'm going to my nose is hella uneven, but who gives a fuck? And I'm gonna actually get up under right here and cut. There's no contour yet, but cut right there. Cut right here. I just hope this doesn't start to look too cakey, so I'm gonna go to, so I'm gonna immediately begin to blend this out. Um, should I start off with my nose, my under eyes, or what? Start off with the nose. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the nose. I'm gonna start off on this side. I really just wanna blend it out. Cover up that milk and magnesia, really. And then you'll begin to see this harsh line. Great. Let's see it right there. You see that harsh, harsh line? A couple harsh lines, but this is. We're gonna drag this up and cut the contour even in our eye. Trust the process. I think I'm just gonna use this brush to blend it out and under my eye. Then we're gonna come back over to this harsh line and just blend it out. Soften it. And then we're gonna go over to the other side. Wow, so the milk of magnesia is actually adding like to the brightness of this. Drag this up. Just gonna add some really cool depth right there. 
when it's all done. I'm trying to maintain a good posture. It's hard. Starting to look good. I'm gonna go back in. You see that harsh line right there? Watch this. Blending it out. I'm not talking about that big highlight. Now we're gonna blend out that highlight just by going up and down. I don't usually put highlight down the bridge of my nose, but there's that milk of magnesia there, so I figure I might as well cover up that pinkish hue. Now I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and blend this out. The nose is hella contour. We can blend this out with our foundation brush. Blend this out with our foundation brush. And get this highlight up under here. Now our face is nice and highlighted. See how that created that chisel, that natural chisel? Natural, supernatural chisel. Let's bring this. I keep messing with the uh, keep messing with the exposure. Because it doesn't look as good as it should look. But it's probably because I'm using the front facing camera. And I don't care because I need to see myself. I need to see myself well. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the same stick, y'all. Nothing new. Same stick. And we're just going to see the bridge of the nose. We're going to see where this nose, where my nose goes. Come all the way out to my eye. And then cut all the way back. So, let's do that on this side. Here's my nose, here's my eye, and then kind of similar to my eye brow ends. And just come all the way back to the ear. You see how symmetrical it actually turned out? Now, I like this a lot, so you can see which. Carving out my face. I want all my color to come back and then I'm gonna go over right here over my TikTok and my G. Okay so I'm officially stoked. This is all coming out so well. So 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 well. This is the best makeup routine I've gotten in a long time. Look how good that looks. It's blended. Blended. The coverage is incredible. The fact that I'm not using any filter on my skin right now, like acne marks where I see one right there, but it's natural. It looks like okay. I'm not trying to hide everything, you know. It's just like it's not. She has a fucking scar. Oh well, you know. Not screaming in your face, but also not super cakey. Um. Look how easy and smooth that blended out. I love this brush by Real Techniques. It's the number 401. I love this top too. If only it would stay a little more bustier. I don't know why I like this combination. Even though it's not like a real... It's real, you know? I've made it real. It's real! Okay. So we're blending this out. And down. Now, I still feel like I see a look of magnesia in some places, but I'm going to go over that with bronzer. Um, I'm going to actually contour deeper than this, but that looks incredible so far. Um, and I'm going to highlight again, of course. So, with the deeper contour first... Another product by Black Opal, and I'm going to, and it's a 
This is the Mineral Matte Cream Powder Foundation. It, it's from a cream to a powder, and it has an SPF 15. Love this product. I've never had a product that goes from a cream to a foundation. I mean, from a, um, yeah, from a cream to a powder. So it's cool because it, like, dries up on its own. And a little bit goes the longest way. So I'm going to open this up, take the same brush, and I'm really just going to go along the edge of the brush. And I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because that's my favorite number. Um, and then I'm going to take, this is the side with the, found, with the foundation. It is a foundation. This is the side with the foundation. I'm going to stamp it right where I put my last contour. And I'm just going to not be afraid and just go in with that. And that acts as a pretty ass bronzer. And you really want to create a three. So this is the three. See how that just deepened it up ever so slightly? So we're going to take a look at this side versus this side. I mean, this already looks really pretty contoured. I'm actually very impressed. But I'm going to go in again and do the same thing. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. You guys should be able to see this right here. Stamp. Create that three. And this is so pretty because it doesn't get ashy. It just keeps getting warmer and deeper, but never ashy. So I'm going to do that again. Literally, it's on there. You see how pretty and orange that is? Look how deeper that just got. Oh, love it. Love it here. Um, my nose is looking a little crazy, a little too chiseled. But I'll go back and blend it. Stamp twist again. This is blending out like a fucking dream. So now we have a new favorite primer. Super cool. Look how blended that is. Okay, so now, the last part of the TikToks, I'm really just going to do my lips so I can finish this damn tutorial. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a lighter, oh, this. I've been using a lot of foundations in replacing concealers and anything really. So this is another flawless foundation, really light color. Um, love this packaging. This is by e.l.f. and this is in the number 250 buff with warm yellow undertones. This is what I'm going to, oh my gosh, <laughs> I didn't blend out this. deeper shadow up under my lip very creamy concealer I mean very creamy foundation super duper light we're gonna go for a really bright under eye I guess um, let me get the brush out some brush I love 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 this concealer with this is like a tapered brush yeah face tapered small brush from Amazon it's already dirty sorry so I'm going to warm this up on the back of my hand. I love how creamy this is. I love how it blends so full coverage while still being super duper light. So we're going to go up under the eye. Right here, right here, and right here. Pick up some more. I just think really could. Look at that. Look how it's already just blending out so effortlessly. 
Okay, before I even begin to blend this out, I'm gonna get my powder ready because I really like to set it immediately after it's blended. This is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder and it's in white. This is white, bright white, white. So yeah, let's begin blending this out under the eye. I can't believe I just blended out that fucking easy. Wow, that is a dream. Okay, well I'm gonna set that. Usually that takes me double the amount of time. Yay for milk and magnesia. Or I mean, um, what is this? Calamine lotion. Oh, what am I going to set this with? Bring more setting brush. Ah, okay, we're just going to set this with this brush, I guess. It's not dirty. So, I'm going to do this other eye over on TikTok. Okay, so I'm going to this out. Oh yeah, I put my powder on my brush and then I dab my hand. When I set it, pick up some more powder, dab it on my hand, set again. Wow, milk of magnesia. Okay, I'll be right back y'all, TikTok and Instagram. All right, so this is turning out really pretty, uh, really stinking pretty and I'm really happy. I'm really happy that I forced myself to sit down and do this because no, I was not in the mood. But I sat down and I did it anyways. I'm almost done. I feel like the face is looking really good. I kind of want to wear blush, which is exciting because I never wear blush. This looks like pretty blush. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Prime infused blush and always cheeky. Um, I really got this because of the name. I have a niece who calls me cheeky. Which is really easy. So we will pack this into this wet and wild brush. Shake that out because that's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot. That's actually a lot. So let's see how this goes on my hand. Okay, it's not that much on my hand. I'm gonna just dab it right here, smile, and oh, that's pretty. Eee. It's really pretty. Oh yeah, I wanted to blend out my nose better. So let's do that really quick. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty in person. Let's see if we can turn this down. Yeah, you guys can see that blush. Ooh. Okay, let's blend out the nose better. I'm getting excited. Because my nose looks a little crazy right here. Instantly, the nose looks way better. Okay, so I'm going to actually go in with this again this foundation i'm gonna go back in and actually use it to give myself some eyeshadow i'm gonna pop that right in the crease and it goes from what's it called a cream to a powder so it's nice because it mattifies this in the crease right here just instantly mattifies it and blends out so smoothly. And it, because it's a cream, it blends out super like easy. And then it just mattifies so it's like the perfect powder. Okay, 
period. It's pretty. Okay, so my face is done. I am about to do my lips, but before I do my lips, I love, I'd love to <laughs> uh, hydrate my lips with an eye cream because I just feel like an eye cream penetrates so much deeper than a chapstick. And it makes sense because it's for very sensitive skin, lips, this eye cream is. This one is just by e.l.f., the Holy Hydration Eye Cream. So, mm -hmm. that is so hydrating. It feels like water. Okay, speaking of water. We're almost done. Let's get into this lip. Now, this next, I just got this. Super pretty brown color. Super duper pretty. This is the NYX Professional Makeup in Line Loud Lip Pencil. Um, Total Baller is the shade. Super creamy. So I'm excited. I remember I have to go really light with this. So let's go light. I do want to overline my lips today. Is this a dream or? It's the first time I'm using this lip pencil on my lips. Oh my God, that is pretty. And it is so close to my skin tone. So creamy. It's already like blended. It's insane. Okay, so that's pretty really fucking pretty I'm really excited about that now I'm going to go in the center of my lips with this concealer um, by Maybelline this is the brightening creamy concealer in 50 medium deep now this is where the magic happens we have to be careful because this can dry out your lips that's why we went in and hydrated our lips before with the eye cream. See how pretty that is? It's like the perfect nude for a brown girl. I'm not gonna lie, on camera I look ashy. But I'm gonna head over to Instagram and TikTok and get this on there. So I think it's important. It's one of the last steps, so I will be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Bring this exposure all the way down so you can really see the details of my makeup. I love this lip combo. Literally can't stop looking at it. 
I think it's so pretty. Mm. If only I can find like a lipstick to replace this concealer because the concealer, you can see, it just gets a little bit misplaced. But, and it separates. Like if you're really close up on me, you'll see that it separates. Um, I kind of want to do something underneath my eye. I'm thinking like smoking out that bottom liner will be really pretty. So I'm just going to be bold to do that. I'm so proud of myself. Within tonight, I've already made one whole TikTok, one whole Instagram reel, and this is for YouTube. And then the other ones will be breaking down into shorts. So I have this pencil by, and it's the two timer. So it's like the velvet tip liquid with the pencil solid. Um, and it's uh, in jet black eyeliner. So I'm gonna go up under my waterline and see if I can blend it out. I'm kind of nervous because I never do black under the waterline. I actually don't know if I should do black or white because I have this really light color right here by Sephora. I don't know, do I want to under, a bright under eye? A bright. Let's go for smoky. Let's go for smoky. Let's just be bold and go smoky. I feel like the smoky is going to really add some depth to my eye. Let's just give it a try. Uh, I've already created a crease up under my eye, but it's not that bad. Black waterline. I feel like that's pretty. Um, it definitely gives it a darker look. Now I'm just going to be bold and try something different under this eye and see which one I like better. Um, where did it just go? This is this jumbo eye pencil. Clean it off a little bit because I usually use this on my lips in the middle. Look how pretty this lip is. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing, but... This is kind of scary. Um... I actually like this one better. I don't really know why. It opens up my eye. It opens up my eye. So I'm gonna go get a Q-tip and see if I can take this off. Let me see. Okay, so I got me a Q-tip. My shirt is falling apart. It's okay. Um, I actually don't know. I like this eye better. I think I would actually like this eye better if it was blended out more. So I'm going to take this eye off. And I didn't even blend this out yet. So. Yeah, this opened my eye. I'll say. And this definitely closed my eye. I don't know. I actually don't like either one now. Um, but I feel like I'm going to like this one better if I just blend it. So I'm going to go back in with that black liner. I'll be right back, you guys. Oh, man. All right. So this tutorial is up on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, TikTok. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm tired. I'm holding my tripod. So I feel so 
I just uploaded it to Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and then in the morning it's going to be uploaded to um, Pinterest. And then I should be able to edit this tutorial and upload it before next week's vlog. But this won't. What's cool is I've made content for TikTok, Instagram. YouTube Shorts, a YouTube video that's separate of the vlog, and then Pinterest. So in just today, and I'm not even done, I'm about to go film some more content. It's going to be not a try on haul, but more like a uh, style that's in my closet with me. I'm going to try that on and just style a bunch of things that I've been wanting to style. Um, and it's like getting cold out here where I am, so I'm going to have to just style it and get it on video. I might be able to get some good pictures for Instagram, but yes, this is how the look turned out, you guys. Milk of Magnesia. Ugh, I keep wanting to call it Milk of Magnesia. This is Calamine Lotion. So Calamine Lotion, um, will I be using it again? Absolutely. I feel like not only does my skin feel nice and matte, it's not dry, my makeup's not cakey, my makeup is very evenly spread out, and I almost feel like the Calamine Lotion acted as a concealer for my dark marks because you can see a couple of dark marks right there, but for the most part, we're looking really, really flawless, really, really pretty. So, this is the end of this makeup tutorial, and... I think I'm about to film the intro to the makeup tutorial right now as well. And yes, so if you made it to the end of the tutorial, um, the products will be linked in the description box, blocks in the description box as well as in the comments. I will be sure to pin um, all of the products I used and the brushes as well. So you'll see that information down below. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, let me know. I love y'all and see you back over to the vlog portion of this video.